It's Monday, February 1st. Let's take a look at the headlines on Tech V Now. Amazon and book publisher Macmillan had a dispute over the weekend that led to Amazon pulling Macmillan books from its site. Books from that publisher could only be bought via third parties. The dispute was over ebook pricing. Amazon wanted to keep prices at around $10. Macmillan wanted to charge around $15. Amazon has given in to Macmillan's demands, and their ebooks will range from around $13 to $15. The new pricing scheme will start next month. Some Nokia phone users can now download the mobile version of Mozilla Firefox. This version of Firefox uses the Weave plugin to sync bookmarks, history, and preferences. The browser does not have Flash support built in due to performance issues. Mozilla is currently working on Firefox for Android and Windows mobile devices as well. Stephen Colbert finally got his iPad after demanding one on his show for some time now. At the Grammys, Colbert could not find a list of nominees and then remembered he had the list on his iPad. He removed the device from his jacket and showed it off. The iPad actually appeared to be a working model, with the accelerometer being activated as he moved the device. There's another nail in the coffin of Internet Explorer 6. Google will no longer support IE6 starting March 1st. Particularly, Google Sites and Google Docs may not work as well as they did on IE6. There's plenty of browser options out there that will work, including Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and if you really want to stick to Microsoft, newer versions of Internet Explorer. There's news out of Apple's town hall meeting. During the town hall, Steve Jobs takes questions from Apple employees in an open discussion. He had some choice words for Adobe and Google. Reports say that Jobs called Adobe lazy and Flash will eventually lose out to HTML5. He cited Flash as a major cause of Mac crashes. As for Google, Jobs did not appreciate Google going into the phone business and that Google is trying to kill the iPhone. He reportedly called Google's don't be evil motto a load of bull manure, but he used other words for that. You can use your imagination to fill in the other words. That's what's important in tech right now. I'm Aya Zaktar, and we'll keep you updated here at techv.com.